hello and happy Thursday, and welcome to another edition of Thursday Thoughts from the Rector. Today is Thursday, April the 1st, 2021. Um, there's no April Fool's joke in any of this. This is uh, my regular weekly thoughts. I would not uh, do that to you, in a, especially not in a video uh, like this. Today is Maundy Thursday. Um, today is the day we remember and observe uh, Jesus' last supper with his disciples, his last, his last teachings uh, to his disciples before um, his arrest and crucifixion. Um, when we remember, too, that he washed his disciples' feet, and I always just get in my head, um, first century Israel, uh, um, Palestine, that, you know, there were, uh, there were very thin sandals if they wore sandals or shoes at all, and um, animals everywhere, and all dirt roads, and just how uh, gross <laughs> that would have been, um, and yet Jesus, uh, what Jesus set the example for the rest of us, right? Mondi comes from the Latin root word for mandate or command, uh, which Jesus said to his disciples, go and do likewise. You know, you see what I've done for you, go and do that for others. Uh, which also got me thinking about the gospel lesson we heard on Sunday, which is what we call the passion gospel, uh, which leads is Jesus's uh, arrest and crucifixion and death uh, and it stops there uh, because it's our job to come back for the rest of the story. And this year we heard from Mark's gospel, uh, which is always the shortest, most most compact um, of the of the gospel readings. And and it ends in one section and literally picks up on Sunday. The gospel reading we'll hear on Sunday picks up at the very next verse. Um, so it is a continuation of the story we heard on. Palm Sunday, uh, we'll continue and we'll hear that on Easter Sunday as well. If you didn't make it to a Palm Sunday service, uh, I will put a link in where you can um, watch ours. You can hear the the Passion reading uh, from here at Christ Church, or you can uh, look it up um, on your own um, and read that section, uh, particularly of Mark's Gospel um, in the in the fifteenth chapter of Mark's Gospel. Um, but it reminds me that that we hear the story and we have a week in between and we're going to hear the rest of the story this week. Uh, but the story, particularly in Mark's gospel, doesn't, doesn't really have a very satisfactory ending, right? The women get to the tomb, they find out Jesus has been raised from the dead and it, and it really says, like, they told no one for they were afraid. Well, obviously, they eventually told someone because the story got written down, has been passed down. Um, there's some edits there at the end of Mark that are maybe kind of questionable as to when they got put in there. But the story continues to get told. And some scholars believe that the, the Gospel of Mark ended the way it did as a reminder to those first listeners, those first hearers of that story, that, that it was their job to go and finish telling about Jesus' resurrection, about all that God had done for them. And I think that's our our call as well, is that is that we hear so often in our Sunday services, we we go through these these stories in scripture. We go from one story to the next and we go very often in in order in the gospel and in the Old Testament lessons as well. Um, so it's sort of from, from, from one, one action to the next, right? It moves on and moves on and keeps going. And, and what happens in between is up to us to continue to tell the story of Jesus. Um, and it's a reminder to us also that we are called to, to be the hands and feet and voice of Jesus in this world. And that it's our job to continue uh, to do that and to continue to carry that forward. Because um, the story actually never ends. The story, uh, it, is, it is, unlike the movie, it is this, the never-ending story because the story carries forward in us in the ways that we talk about Jesus, the way we show people who Jesus is, um, and the way, that we, the way that we carry ourselves is a reflection of, of what we think about Jesus. Um, and, and certainly Jesus calls us to care for one another, to love one another, and even, even to do 
some of those gross kind of things that benefit other people, uh, that humble ourselves, but benefit other people in ways we can't imagine. So I wish you a blessed Maundy Thursday, a holy Good Friday, and I look forward to either seeing you on Sunday, um, either online or in person. Um, you can check our website for our service times um, and where we have some openings, particularly at 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. in the nave, 10 a.m. always room in the outdoor chapel. Um, but uh, we hope you will join us either online or in person uh, for our services on, on Easter Sunday. Um, our Maundy Thursday service at 7 tonight will be live streamed. Um, and our noon service uh, for Good Friday will be live streamed as well. Plus, we will have Stations of the Cross available in the churchyard um, all day on Friday. And we have a 5 p.m. service for children today um, to talk more about Maundy Thursday. So I wish you all of those things, a, a, a blessed Maundy Thursday and a holy Good Friday uh, and a very happy Easter on Sunday. Take care. God bless you. Continue to wash your hands and wear a mask when you're in public places.